Hey everybody, it's me, Ms. Cassidy. Um, I'm here to do your first online virtual music theory lesson. I hope you're excited. Um, today, we're gonna talk about the staff notes and the lines and spaces on the general staff. Now, a lot of you will already know this information and that's great, but I just wanna make sure that we start from zero so that we have some place to go. Um, so today, your assignment involves drawing a staff, um, marking which line or space is indicated by an X, um, and you'll see all that when you upload your um, assignment from Notability. But we're just gonna talk a little bit about some preliminary information. So when you, here, let me make sure this is pointing well. Okay, so when you look at a piece of music, um, there's a lot of things to look at, right? But the basic, the basic framework for your music is gonna be the music staff, which is five lines. Looks like this. One, two, three, four, they are all equidistant apart from each other, and they um, there's sometimes multiple staffs involved in a piece of music, but there's always five. You'll never see less than five lines in any given staff. Um, music notes are oval-shaped objects that appear on the staff and in this on the lines and in the spaces, um, and they represent musical sounds. The lines on the staff are numbered always from the bottom to the top. So smallest number on the bottom, biggest number on the top. So if I was gonna number these, let me get a different color here. If I was gonna number these, I would start with one on the bottom right here. That is line number one. The next one higher, let me bring you a little closer. The next one higher is line number two, three, four, and five. Noticing I'm numbering the lines, okay, not the spaces. And then it's the same thing for the spaces. We go from the bottom to the top when we're numbering the lines, or numbering the spaces, I mean. So this would be space one, space two, space three, and space four. Um, so if a note appears, let me draw another staff really quickly. One, two, three, four, five. So here's some notes for us to look at different notes. Obviously when a note appears higher than a previous note, it's a higher pitch. So if this is ooh, then this one might be ooh. And you can hear the change in the frequency. Um, and, and that's all we have to do. So for your assignment today, um, you will be asked to mark, for example, it'll ask, ask you to mark space two with an X. So you'll go to your staff you'll identify which, which you're looking at, either the lines or the spaces, and you'll mark it with an X. So if we were gonna look for space two, we would go find our spaces in between, so the gaps between the lines, and mark space two with an X, right like that. So your, your assignment looks like this, load it into Notability, and complete all of these parts at the bottom. You're gonna have to draw a staff, and then label um, the staff with some different information, and then get that um, turned back into me. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out, talk to you soon.